you might be wanting to automate a process in a G Suite app. Let's say, for example, that you're importing data from the Google YouTube data API and you're importing it into Google Sheets. Now you can automate that by writing some lines of code with Google Apps Script. The question is, where do you write that code? I'm Chanel Greco from Saperis, and in this video, I'll give you a tour of the script editor in G Suite or in Google, as a matter of fact, and I'll show you how to use it. Before we get started, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button to this channel so that you don't miss out on any of the tutorial videos that we publish about Google Apps Script, about Google Sheets, and so on. So the first thing to understand about Google Apps Script code is that there are two separate kinds of codes. First of all, there's document bound scripts. So that is a script that is bound to one specific document, for example, one Google Sheets document. And then there's the general, the free, if you want to say, scripts that are not bound to one specific document. And depending on what first script that you want to be creating or editing, the way to access the, the code editor is different. So here we're in Jane examples, Google app script, dashboard that you access by going to script.google.com and here we see her projects and she has one general script and if she clicks on the crayon icon this appears so this is one way to access the editor and now in this case we have a Google spreadsheet so the script that we want to be editing is bound to this specific document so to way, the way to access the editor is by clicking on tools script editor a new tab opens up with our specific script okay so those are the two separate ways um, of accessing the editor now the first thing I want to show you is the name so you can give the script or actually what it's called in Google terminology is a project. You can give this project a name either by directly clicking here into the name, kind of like we know from the other Google apps like Google Docs, where you also just can click into that, um, into the title, into the name, or also of course, through the menu file, save, save all if you would have more uh, tabs or um, more scripts open and uh, rename of course delete so these are kind of like the the standard menu items that you have maybe a bit special is you can have multiple script files so let's say um, file 2 I'm not going to write anything in there but just so that you see what happens so you could have several separate files scripts uh, script files actually this might be interesting if your code is very very long and you're kind of like losing the overview of what you've written that would be a possibility to break it out into separate files something else that comes in very handy is the content assist so i have um, a blank function down here and if i now click on edit content assist it gives me all the objects that i can use so it's assisting me in writing my code now let's go ahead and let's say where's our spreadsheet app so this is standard huh? when you have your object spreadsheet at dot and then again you have a list of all the methods that you can use on this object so that's something very handy now you might have uh, some code i don't know spreadsheet spreadsheet app dot and let's say something um here get active spreadsheet you might want to because of testing or maybe reformatting your script you might not want to completely delete this but you just want to comment it out uh, the way you can do that is edit 
toggle comment. Huh? Do that, edit, toggle to comment, and you untoggle it again. So that when your script get, gets processed by the Google server, once it hits that comment line, it'll just skip it and go on to the next line. This is something very uh, a standard thing to do in programming. You can have triggers that actually run your code and you can also access them from within the code editor by going to edit and then current projects um, trigger for example. Now this doesn't have any triggers but we could add a trigger here that would then trigger our code to run um, according to parameters that we define here. If you're interested on having uh, a deep dive into triggers, um, leave me a comment below so then I'll uh, create a video about that as well. Debugging your code whenever you're creating a script is extremely important and that's the reason why I won't go into the, the logging functionality and, and running your code in, in debugging mode because I think that this is so crucial that it deserves its own tutorial and I'll be creating that later on and publishing that. So be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you uh, don't miss out on that super important video. Something else that I really want to mention is this here, the indent. Now, let me go ahead and delete this. If I were to, so now it's activated, now it's deactivated. If I press enter, my code isn't indented. Now, code does not have to be indented for in order for it to work, but it's best practice that you do indent it because it makes your life easier and also that of other people who will be looking at your code or maybe even editing your code. So if we make sure that this is activated, when I click on enter on the next line, it's automatically indented. So this is best practice coding standard that you absolutely should activate and also use. Let's say you're ready to run your code. How do you run it? Well, one way is here, run function, and then you have the function names that you have in your file, in your script, or another possibility is to select the function here, let's say retrieve st uh, channel stats, and then click on the arrow button. So they both do the, the same thing, it just depends on your liking what you prefer to choose. One last bonus tip that I want to give you is an extension. It's the, the App Script Color by Jean-Rémy um, Delte. It's not a must, but I personally, I just, I just like um, plain code editors. So whenever I'm writing code in an editor, it usually has a dark mode and you don't have this functionality built in into Google Apps Script, into the um, code editor that Google provides us with, but this plugin does make it possible. You install it and then you have a, a custom menu item called colors and there's some predefined colors that you can choose from or themes that you can choose from or you can also create your own custom theme. So um, this is just a bonus tip that you might want to try out. This was a high level tutorial of the core functionalities of the script editor that you'll be using. As I said, I'll add another video for debugging, but please go ahead and leave me a comment below if there's anything else about the code editor, the, that the script editor that you want to know, um, that you're curious about, or maybe also a tip that you would like to share with the community.